Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to check if your iPhone has been hacked. There are a couple of things that could um, turn you on to thinking that your iPhone is hacked. I'm gonna walk you through them now, or if you're just curious to see if these things are happening, you can jump on into the video as well. I'm also gonna show you how to get rid of them. So the first thing we're gonna jump in on is if you're getting this pop-up message a lot that says your iPhone has been hacked, you need to install this software, don't do it, it is a scam. Most people know it's a scam, but some people you know, don't, and they hit that install button, and that leads them to having a, um, a broken in iPhone, and the iPhone is then going to be hacked. Um, so don't ever hit install only from your updates through the Apple iOS system should you install anything um, or from the App Store. Even there you have sketchy things going on. So just make sure that if you just accidentally tapped on a weird website and this comes up, don't hit install. If uh, you did or if you keep getting these, what we're going to do is get out of here. We're going to go to settings in our phone. We're going to go down to Safari. Click on Safari. And then we're gonna go down and where it says pop-up blocks, we wanna make sure that is enabled. So go ahead and click that on. And then we wanna make sure that um, if we go down, prevent cross tri site tracking is enabled. So just make sure that is clicked on. And once we've done both of those, we can clear history and website data by just clicking that and clearing history and website data. So that's the first thing you wanna do when you're checking that out. The next thing to look at if you're trying to figure out if your phone's been hacked is that if you're getting this green or orange buttons or lights at the top right hand corner of your screen and you know you're not running an app that has a camera or recording a part of it, that is something to check out. So this is how we will check that out. What you wanna do is go to settings in your phone. We wanna go to privacy. So once you're in settings, go down to privacy, click on camera. And then these are all the apps using your camera and you can go through and unclick whichever apps you don't want to be able to use your camera. And then that will save on there and the same for microphone. Go through and see what you don't want to be used on your microphone and you'll be good to go there. All right, the next indicator that you've been hacked is that if you keep getting notifications on your calendar saying you have new subscriptions, um, if you go to certain websites, they can download subscriptions onto your cam uh, or onto your uh, phone, so you can go through and delete those. What you wanna do is go to settings, and then we're gonna go to calendar, then we're gonna go to accounts, and here will be all your subscribed calendars. As you can see, I don't have any, but if you had some, you could delete those there, and then that way there's no additional subscribed calendars on your phone. All right, the next thing to check is that if you keep getting a message like this, it is an Apple ID sign-in request, basically saying that somebody's trying to sign into your account, so you wanna make sure that is secure. Go to settings in your phone, and then we're gonna go to password and security, from there, you want to make sure that two-factor authentication is turned on and that you want to reset your password just to make sure that nothing or nobody has your password and that they have to re-sign in if they had your password. So go ahead and do that now. And the last way to check if somebody's hacked your phone is that if in your settings, in your Apple ID, there is an unknown device, I'll show you how to get there now. If we go to our Apple ID, then we go down, you can see all of your devices here. If there's an unknown device, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on that device and remove the device from your network. If I click on this Mac, I can delete and remove from my account. That is all. If you guys have any questions on these, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget